we're back and we are ready to go with Super Metroid Very Randomizer, run by Grey Goo Girl and supported by Soul Mass 218. Take it away. Hey y'all, I am Grey Goo Girl and I am joined by Soul Mass 218. Hello, hello, I am Soul Mass 218. <laughs> We're going to be running to uh, for you Super Metroid uh, Super Metroid Vario Randomizer with a whole bunch of randomizer configuration set. So as we go through, we'll sort of explain more about the uh, specific configurations for this. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get this started. Uh, if I hit the right button. Oh, also, it seems trans colors one. That's awesome. Trans rights. Trans rights. Trans rights. Everything should be good to go. So uh, yeah, starting it up in three, two, one, go. Good luck, good luck. Oh, hey, vanilla start. Interesting. So randomized start was one of the choices there. All right, so uh, yeah, we're just gonna do our normal opening for uh, for randomizer. Uh, typically, we have it set to go through a handful of different randomized starting areas. Um, so one of the big things about this particular version that we're running right now is that all of the areas are also randomized. So there are transition points between areas. Uh, as we go through those, they will take us to areas that are not the correct area for what it would normally take us to. So ideally, we'll see uh, some fun jank out of that. Uh, we also have randomly colored doors. So uh, I'm sure in this first area we'll see that. Uh, we might see that based on the starting area, but we'll, it'll come up. Uh, so we just pop up down here. We're going to check our morph ball spot, which... Um, Soul Mass, what's the over-under on it being morph ball? Uh, it's not likely now that we see that it's uh, speed booster. <laughs> so there we go. So speed booster start. Uh, it's not a bad start. Speed booster is useful for a lot of things. Interesting thing to point out for people seeing the screen for the first time on the rando. On the top left, it tells you what area that we're in, as well as how many checks are left. So it said 13, but now it's going to move down to 11 because we checked two items. Wow, that's this is a great start. Yeah, you're set morph up. Let's balls. go. <laughs> yeah, morph ball, speed booster, and bombs. This is uh, best, better than I could have hoped for. All right. And over here, charge beam. Just a bucket full of good stuff right away. Oh, we're ready to speed run this rando. Yeah, fantastic. So yeah, there. Uh, like I said, there's a couple things that are going to make this a little more difficult as we go along. Uh, the most important ones, though, again, are the door color randomization and the area transitions. So thankfully, we're getting a lot of stuff early. It's going to open up some quick and easy to do checks, uh, specifically just some of the stuff in this area. Because bombs are kind of a core integral part of doing that. Specifically stuff like this. And uh, then we'll probably do Gauntlet after this. Since it gave us super easy access to it. Gravity suit. All right. Solmash, should I be afraid of this? Um, I'm not sure if you should be afraid or very happy. This is, uh, yeah, this is ominous. Put it that way. It's kind of terrifying when the rando gives you all of the, the best items right away. Yeah, it kind of means we're going to have, we're going to be in for a lot of other things that are very oddly spread about. So this is definitely a unique setup. All right. So yeah, pop up here. Yeah, we got... It's, it's really nice, though. We got damage reduction. We've got water movement already. Um, actually, we're gonna, since we've got bombs, we'll do this check right here. Yeah, definitely unique. Uh, we still haven't gotten missiles, though. Okay, there's nothing in there. So that's another thing that, that uh, is set up with this seed. Um, we have 15% uh, of the minor items are removed from the pool and are replaced with absolutely nothing. So our chances of running into nothing spots are roughly, you know, 15%, give or take. A little less than that because it doesn't include the major items, but still. It's a thing we should expect to see. Grab this. Grab a quick save. That way, if I mess up Gauntlet, we will be able to easily backtrack. Not to redo all of those lower checks. I think I trust you got this. 
It's gauntlet. Gauntlet can be uh, a little, not super difficult. It's mostly just that it can be a little uh, punishing if you make any mistakes. And without any E-tanks, it can be a little, little hairy at times. You've got gravity. It's fine. Yeah, but gravity doesn't protect against hazards at all. So like spikes and lava are in, unimpacted by gravity suit. Hence, touching that lava did 20 points of damage. Yep. Yeah, but yeah. touching that waver only did two. Indeed, that's true. Oop. And yeah. There we go. Wait until that lava goes down in case we get snatched, which we did not. Good. And you're through. So we at least know what the mid is at this point, and hopefully it is bomb. It is power bombs of some variety. It is not. It is nothing. <sighs> All right. Well, surely going all the way through here will be a great use of your time, right? Oh, of course. At this point, I'm going to guess it's probably not anything super necessary. Also, if we just sort of touch that lava, we're definitely going to die. So. Yep, oh, like that. Oh, no. That's <laughs> OK. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, we can check from the other side when we get power bombs. So I'm not going to worry about doing that this second then. We have other things we can check at the moment, so I'm probably going to do those quick. Specifically, we're going to check up here. And sorry for the noise, y'all. I wish I could turn that off, but it's just not an option, too. Hey, there's a beam door, finally. Yep, that's a beam door. That door we saw was a spacer beam door. It will only open if we have acquired spacer. We don't necessarily have to have it equipped, but we do have to have spacer to open it. We'll see a plethora more of those just sort of strewn about doing their uh, their own fun stuff. Um, gonna just do a speed boost over here and see what this door is. Probably nothing important. It's a wave beam door. Okay, so we can't leave here uh, through those doors until we get uh, wave or spacer. Uh, I'm gonna check Teresa as well, but I assume Teresa is probably also going to be uh, not great. Probably ice beam or wave or something. Maybe plasma if it's feeling spicy. Oh, oh it's power, power bombs. bombs. All right. See, so there's a fair bit of backtracking that goes on with these seeds. And uh, there's definitely a fair bit of uh, soft lock possibility as well, which is not ideal, but it is a thing that is sort of uh, the nature of doing these sort of uh, randomized doors and randomized area transitions. There's a lot of doors you can go through that you can't go back through. Uh, that would be more power, uh, more, um, no more, uh, more nothing, so. All right, so let's, uh, pop through here, bypass those to our first area transition. And that's going to take us to Green Brinstar. All right. We know where that goes. I'm going to check the other area transition while I'm off here just to see where it goes. Hopefully it's, uh, I mean, Green Brinstar is great to find. Uh, really, really easy to find early on. All right, so we found Red Tower as well. And we have Gravity Suit, which means that Red Tower, uh, all entrances on Red Tower should be accessible, but not counting for the door thing. The door thing can definitely throw that off. All right, so we're going to do this before going back up and doing Gauntlet again. Power bombs makes it a bit more straightforward to do gauntlet. Do we need them? No. But do I want them? Absolutely. What's up in this pipe? Oh. Uh. What oh. a gimme. What? <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right. We've got Varia. Uh, that's that's a thing. <laughs> uh. I feel like I'm being being pranked right now. <laughs> 
Okay, so we've got that. Just there's so many things that are open right now because of that. This is gonna be a pretty free seat as far as our getting around. Um, we are gonna go through this, which is going to be a soft lock hazard, unfortunately. But we will see where that goes. Still haven't found missiles or bombs or power bomb. Uh, uh, missiles or uh, super missiles or power bombs. Well, obviously now we've got missiles, but when I said it, it was valid. Alright, so, power bombs there, we can do none of these checks because we do not have the requisite Myers. Which is kind of bizarre. That's very strange. It feels just completely up, backward. Yeah, all the major items that you want to see first, and now there's no power bombs in sight. No supers oh, in sight. Oh, that's, that's the gimmick I'm assuming now. I think we've found the problem. <laughs> Alright, so no power bombs. Uh, spacer door there, so we can't go back this way. Plasma door there, so we can't go back this way. No other checks we can do in this area because we don't have power bombs. Interesting. Looks like we're probably gonna roll back the save then if I don't find a direct path through here. Uh, upper North Fair, that's fine. Uh, upper North Fair is pretty much free and open except for the beam doors. So, power bombs for that, but we can go into Cathedral, so we might as well check out what's in Cathedral. I mean, knowing this seed, we're just going to find all the beams as well, right? Uh, maybe. Okay, so Spazer. And, yeah, I mean, this is, this is definitely odd behavior for this seed, so... For these, uh, sorry, for this uh, particular mode. Still kind of thrown off a little bit by finding all of that all of that unique okay so no power bombs there interesting what's up with all these power mm. bomb doors oh can't do that you don't have supers can't do it from that direction anyway which is unfortunate but we can go this way and i know for i know on good authority none of the doors in this path are going to be blocked by beam doors only certain doors are actually randomized and we've got speed boosters, so we can get our way through here. And what would normally be a door that, yeah, that door is not not randomized, so we know we can get through it. Uh, we got missiles, um, and we can go the back way through here. Like I said, the, the, the folks I have at these seeds do a very good job of finding unique seeds to showcase for for marathons. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that. Oh, yeah, not at all. No, never. <laughs> um, normally, I wouldn't bother getting missiles, but I want to have at least some of them for some of the later fights, specifically Fantoon. We want to have uh, roughly 20 to 25 missiles. Um, you can get more, but it's not really that necessary. Uh, I am not saving here. That would be a bad idea. We are, however, going to turn off our speed booster for this next jump. Because it just makes it easier. Oop. Makes it easier, and I still managed to not do it properly. That's okay. You get it your first try. There we go. See, first, first try. Tr first try. Oh. oh, it's okay. You haven't tried it yet. King Cack Attack, why? Why would you do that to me? All right, first try. There's a smidge early, but uh, Cack Attack's being incredibly uncooperative right now. He's just being very blue today. Being very blue and very mean. Oh my god, what is wrong with me right now? <laughs> this is not a hard jump. I'm shocking up the nerves. There we go. Beautiful. Missile door. Excellent. Somewhere we can actually go to get checks. Yeah, normally these are a little more fraught with peril because typically I don't have uh, have Varia for these. I should probably turn my speed booster back on. Help. It's going to be a whole lot of nothing or like any tank or something. 
door we can't open. And nothing. Alright. Yeah, this seed's cursed. The rando giveth and the rando taketh away. This is uh, truly bizarre. So we're going to keep looking. Uh, we'll check somewhere else then. Uh, we know not to worry about this. Cursed is always entertaining, and I kind of love getting cursed seeds for runs. I'm not going not gonna to lie about that. All right, so let's check down here. I mean, Wave Beam's got to have something, right? Surely. And it's a missile door to open. So I don't even have to do the, uh, the low, uh, low section jump up kind of thing. It's an E-Tank. All right, that's, that's All right, a thing. Well, you finally have an E-Tank. That's nice. An e tank uh that'll make them a gauntlet okay that's power bombs don't have those uh yeah so that's the thing <laughs> we can go the back way through gauntlet though uh not gauntlet through um go the back way through cathedral and that will absolutely give us something and we're gonna do one of my favorite things to do in this room we're gonna kill king cack attack and over here, oh, and I fell. Uh, <laughs> Might as well check to make sure this door is accessible anyway. It is not, so wow. there's no point in doing that. There's a lot of power bomb doors here. A lot of power bomb doors. Yeah, noticing, uh, noticing a trend there. Definitely, uh, definitely a thing. <laughs> yeah, we could probably do with a few more power bomb doors. Yeah, probably. Uh, it's gonna be like power bombs are only accessible in Lower Norfair or something. More missiles, all right? <laughs> this is absurdly entertaining and I kind of love it. <laughs> Could you please stop being mean for just like half a second? Thank you. Dang things in the way. I will say I'm enjoying the uh, the purple and green palette on the enemies. It's quite pleasing. Yeah, this uh, this randomized color palette's actually really nice. The blue ones are I a little like cursed, but the the purple ones are nice. Yeah, I mean, there's all a whole bunch of that kind of stuff. So we randomized all of the colors that were not Samus. Obviously, it would not make sense for us to do transcolor Samus and then have that randomized. So yeah, we did this. All right, let's check the Krakemeyer door. That's Ah, uh, I shouldn't have saved. It's fine. Uh, we have rolling oh, saves this with this. Fine. It's okay. Uh, like I said, we have rolling saves, so if I do have to revert back, I can always do that. Um, we can go back two saves. Which is, again, totally fine. Course, Mostly revert... we're not really in danger of dying to anything at this point. If you revert back, Just that was because... like 10 minutes ago at this point, though. <laughs> yeah. But if we needed to for Gauntlet, then I would definitely go and do that. Uh, but I don't I suspect there's a way for us to get back. I might be wrong in that in that suspicion. And if we did roll back, it wouldn't be the end of the world. We still have time to, to make up for that. I mean, I'm sure it's going to give you power bombs at some point. Surely. Eventually. Uh, Meridia. All right. Well, we've got gravity suits. So we have access to all the doors anyway. Let's just go do Meridia. Uh, actually, we're gonna do this the. Gonna do it that way. If you get full speed going down in. Hey, power hey. bombs! Look at that! I was so excited, I just decided to eat the crab hit. Crabs are one of the most dangerous things in this game! Yeah, those I wish crabs I were exaggerating. So much damage. Yeah, we have 75% damage reduction, and it did 30 health worth of damage. All right, let's do a gravity jump here. Um, if I hit that properly, which I don't know I did. I think it was late. I was late. It's fine. It's totally fine. There, gravity got jump it is a, it's an interesting trick if you've never seen it before. You're about to see it. <laughs> yep, so fun thing about the physics with this game. They never expected that you were going to do that. You were going to try and jump uh, at any point and then take off gravity suit. Uh, the way that water works in this game is you have a slower momentum build and a slower momentum loss. Gravity suit negates that, uh, so we 
when we jump with Gravity Suit, we have a really huge momentum gain. Um, when we turn it off, it just enables that slowing to come back on, so we, we jump really, really high. Way higher than we could by any other means. There we go. So we're going to check out three checks up here, um, one of which is this one over here. There's nothing. There's this one up here, which oh, there's two up here. So those will be, uh, I think they're referred to as watering hole. Um, there are usually two there. We'll see if they're there. There are other checks here that we might have. We can see there are only four checks left in the area when there are actually five spots we haven't looked at. So there's that. So one of those is going to be empty. More power bombs. All right, I'll take it. I will gladly take that. Oop, oop, oop. So yeah, we've got power bombs. We've got a bunch of stuff we can go back and check now that we've got power bombs. Uh, again, that was a kind of shockingly huge blocker for, you know, as long as we, as long as it was. I don't actually know, I'm not looking at the time, so. And let's check the transition point up here and see where that's going to take us. And it's taken us to... Wrecked Ship! Um, let's do Mama Turtle first. Let's see if we can actually get to Mama Turtle. Uh, we don't really have the health to do the speed booster in Main Street, so we're not going to do that. Welcome to the most obnoxious space pirates in the game! They're here and they will not move. Not for you, not for anybody. All right, plasma requirement. That's the only way to get them to move. And it's always fun. Uh, we can't actually kill them if we do uh, bad enough times, but I don't really want to do that. Um, okay, so actually, let's go back this way. It's going to go check on Main Street and see what it is. That way we at least have some idea as to what's up there. And we can check the transition point over here as well. Where are you leading to? Oh, uh, Red Burn Star. Okay, that's actually really, really good. We can get back to uh, Criteria. We are in fact not softlocked in any way. Yep. Or we should be able to theoretically, although technically it could block us up with some stuff, but we'll We'll take a look at that in a minute. As soon as we... As soon as I stop failing to do wall jumps. <laughs> it's a good thing we have gravity for this room. It is. This room is uh, particularly terrible without it. Okay, so that was just a missile pack anyway. That's fine. We're gonna... Let's explore some of Red Brinstar. Do a Red Tower. Ow. Hurtful. That fish does not know how hurtful it's being. I'm very glad I checked about that, because I could have easily died by hitting one more thing. Luckily, there are some cack attack down here that will give us some health. Mind if I butt in real quick to uh, plug something? Absolutely. Go right ahead. All right. I just want to remind everybody, uh, we are raising money for Nami. Uh, and to do that, we can decide whether we're going to save, kill, or taunt the animals for this run. So I, I would like to see some donations rolling in to decide the outcome at the end of this game, what we're going to do. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say what I want up, up front, and I know that's not what's going to happen. I would prefer to save the animals, but that's uh, yeah, typically how things go. Surly, what would you like? I'm kind of a fan of um, leaving them behind, but that's that's my personal preference. Oh, uh, well, we've got one of each of us again on this one. I am always a fan of taunting the animals. Oh, uh, taunting the animals. If you don't know what taunting the animals is, uh, we're not going to explain it until it happens. Uh, if you decide to spend your money towards that, uh, just know that it makes you not a great person. Oh, it makes you a wonderful person. <laughs> <laughs> you're the best person. Uh, because you're way, donating to charity. Attack, so combat right now is going to be a little more trivialized than before. 
Oh, more power bombs. All right. Uh, I'm starting to see a trend here. Collecting all the cheeseburgers now. Yeah, we still haven't found super missiles. That's disconcerting. I mean, they're in the game somewhere. Okay, cool. We are now 100% not soft locked. It's always good to know. Hey, we've got another E tank. Uh, oh, other thing. We uh, we have medium health set, so we only get about half health, maybe a little less. Um, mostly because the amount of health this game gives you in vanilla is eh, kind of ridiculous, and you don't really need nearly that much. I mean, the way that I just tank hits, I probably do need a lot more, but that's, you know, the side point. I mean, uh, we're going to do a room colloquially referred to as Billy Maze. If I can just do that. There we go. To be fair, you, uh, when you're playing for the first time, you're probably expected to, to lose a lot of health fighting Ridley. So having lots of extra things is nice. That's fair. All right, so we got more, we got more missiles, but wait, there's more. We got more power bombs. This, this seed is basically hide the guns, isn't it? You got a lot of that's, missiles that's and power you've bombs. Done. You've got so many missiles and power bombs. You've, you've hidden the guns. Why have you hidden the guns? <laughs> you've got power bombs to open doors now, at least. I do. I can start actually looking at certain things because we've actually got power bombs. We're also going to go and do gauntlet, which I probably should have done earlier. But now that we've got some E-Tanks and we've got Screw Attack and we've got power bombs, it's even more trivial. And Varia Suit, so that, that lava does trivial amounts of damage. Also have Speed Booster, so yes. I'm going to check one other thing. Uh, we can't go back to Red Tower yet because we don't have any progression in Red Tower at this point due to the fact that there is a Spacer Door in the way. Uh, I think it's a spacer door. Let's just check that. It is, in fact, a spacer door. So, without spacer, can't open it. Uh, without wave beam, we can't open that. Uh, and I was looking forward to watching you do a short charge in there. Uh, I am... Okay, so I'll, I'll be completely honest with you. I hate doing short charges so much that I do that the wrong way. <laughs> uh, I hate doing them so much that I spend... I waste the time to drop power bombs to destroy those uh, goo thingies. Yeah, and that's they're that kind of goo, not, not, not like myself. That room in particular is very difficult to get a short charge in. It's incredibly annoying, and you've got to jump over things that'll knock you out of the air, and it's just awful. Uh, yeah, so this rando, uh, just to answer the question in chat, this rando is uh, randomized door color, randomized areas, typically randomized start, but we redrew vanilla start. Um, and, uh, yeah, the randomized door colors include guns, so that's the, uh, the big thing right now. And we've, we've only found what, charge? I don't think you found any yeah. others yet. We haven't found any of the other gun, uh, guns, so, yeah, we only have charge, which, on a good day, having charged this early would be fantastic. This, however, again, seems ominous. Oh, I did not have full speed when I did that. Maybe we'll go up here and we'll find grapple. That's a gun too, right? If we find grapple up here, uh, that'd be that'd be nice. And there's like one check that opens up, but you know, it's fine. We have uh, all the stuff to navigate anything else that would require grapple beam. Uh, and I mean, it would also let us uh, navigate X-ray room, which, you know, it's X-ray room. X-ray room is not the worst, but it's close. So if y'all remember about 15 minutes ago or so. This room was very dangerous, but now we have Varia suit, gravity suit, all kinds of damage reduction. This acid is doing almost no damage at all, and we're just going to blaze right on through all of this. Yeah, I'm just going to pop right through here because I don't care about waiting for that. Uh, yeah, we're just going to swim in the acid this time. Yeah, it's it's not a problem now. Uh, the fact that we got both those suits that quickly is just kind of incredible. All right, what was down here anyway? It's going to be nothing, isn't it? That plasma. Hell yeah. Thank you, Plasma Beam. Worth it. 100% worth it. Would have been worth it if I would have gotten it first time through, but that's uh, that's the ancient history at this point. 
Uh, do we have any other plasma doors up here to check? It does not appear to be so. Of course not. Therefore, oh, we got a power bomb door to check. This is one of the reasons why I absolutely love the updates they've made to Varia. Uh, the fact that I can just look at the map and see what doors are there is kind of incredible. Yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful quality of life because it's it's so easy to forget everything when you have to backtrack so much like this. Oh, yeah. And while we have our own sets of trackers and stuff to, to look up things, the only thing that really needs tracking in this case for me is specifically the area randomization, because that can get very, very much out of hand very quickly. Also, the uh, the map I used to track it on, um, if you've ever seen uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, it looks like the Pepe Silvia board, where it's just like this yarn between points just connecting wrecked ship to lower Norfair, like some kind of horrendous conspiracy. It's kind of amazing. Also, can someone tell me if the decimal on the uh, on the current donation total is still nice or not? It's not nice anymore. Oh, okay. That's unfortunate. It's unfortunate <laughs> indeed. All right, so... Now, one thing I did notice that's interesting is you have plasma and you have charge. Um, yeah. I if find X-ray, then we're gonna, gonna have find some fun microwaving things. Yeah, hopefully we'll find X-ray, and that'll make um, that will like I said, further trivialize combat, which is already at this point fairly trivial. It's just any percent, but given the uh, the complications uh, that are at play, again, shock. It's it's absolutely shocking that we've gotten some of the items we've gotten this quickly. Um, hence why the time is pretty long for this, this kind of uh, scenario. Typically we're expecting to do a lot more looping around, uh, potential soft locking and uh, reverting of saves. So, pop over here. Heck yeah, save the animals. Always about saving the animals. Uh, we still can't do most of the stuff here. Uh, we, we have power bomb stuff we have here. We got that power bomb door, which I can definitely do. Um, Lower section, we got plasma for. Oh, yeah, plasma gives us access to another fun thing. Um, that's gonna give us access to the uh, Ron Popeil room, and I'll explain more about why it's called that when we get in there. Now, if somebody's gonna donate five to save the animals. Somebody else really needs to uh, donate five to taunt the animals and even this out. <laughs> I'm just saying. Of course, we gotta have balance, right? You do know that ties go to the runner, right? I mean, I just want to keep it interesting. <laughs> Alright, so we got Super Missile Door down there, which is unfortunate to say the least. Hey, Super Door! Uh, sorry, so, some one of my friends from chat. Uh, with a very funny mode that I have for my channel. Um, I'm gonna pop this open quick, and we're going to... <sighs> we can do it with missiles, so I'm gonna do it with missiles. Uh, we're going to do the high jumpless version of this door opening. Uh, it goes like this. Uh, so let's see soon. It's a lot easier if you have super missiles, but it works this way too. Come yeah, on. The reason super missiles is easier is because they actually fly faster than regular missiles. Let's just double check I didn't actually hit it before. Did not. Okay, so give us a couple more shots. That was definitely off. Yeah, this is very difficult to do with regular missiles. All right, one more attempt, and if we don't get it in the next, like, couple shots, I'm going to move on. So we can get some soups. Come on. All right, you know what? We'll, we'll come back for it. Not a big deal. All right, it was so worth the a other try. thing we can do right now... Is uh, we don't have supers, we can't actually get through the floor in there, so we're not gonna worry about that. <sighs> that's just super, yeah. That's uh, this is certainly a seed. This is 
a weird, weird, weird save. So how about some luck? Oh, luck is always luck. welcome. We got $7.77 from Sober Dwarf. Hey, Goo Girl. Great Goo Girl. It's chat mod. It's about five minutes late at the time of donation. I'm glad I could make it for your run. That might explain some things with your run. Sorry uh, of how awful this is going to be. But you got this. Remember to think of a good taunt when you see the animals. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you, Silver Dwarf. So, uh, slight, a little inside joke. Uh, Silver Dwarf is firmly convinced that uh, her presence is uh, bad for my uh, my streams. Bad for my, um, for particularly my randomizer seeds. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, not saying that's true or untrue. Just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Sober, you may have been late, but it was already cursed before you got here, trust me. Here in spirit. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna check uh we're gonna check out the Ron Popiel room up here. Uh, I don't even have to do mock ball, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because why not? Beautiful. Yep, figure I might uh, as well. I mean we could have just done speed booster through it, but mock ball is easy. And it's fun. Got nothing, but wait, there's more. Is it nothing? It's probably nothing. It's it's missiles. It's it's missiles, y'all. Um, what? Where where are the super missiles? Can, can anybody tell me where the super missiles are? Surely they're up here in the vanilla super missile spot. If they are, that'd be hilarious. Nope, it's power nope. bombs. Just more cheeseburgers. <laughs> This is so bizarre. The the minor items are what's really holding us back, and I'm kind of deeply impressed by that. Yeah, this is... Uh, if you'd like to know how the randomization usually works for Varia, normally we don't get all these major items right away, and uh, we're searching for the major items while we get the various beams to open up all these doors, and uh, the supers and power bombs and everything. This scene so far has been the opposite, where we've gotten all the majors to unlock all the areas, so everything was accessible right away, and um, just we don't have ways to open doors. This, and if I would just actually do the stuff right. So we're, we're searching for the beams, really. Yeah, that's the the goal right now. It's looking for more beam weapons and looking for more looking for super missiles. More power, really more power bombs. Hope you like. I shouldn't be surprised by it at this point, but um, I am, and it's this is deeply, intensely confusing. Well, there were a lot of power bomb doors, so surely you need a lot of power bombs. I there were a lot of power bomb doors, so I'm gonna guess it's just gonna keep loading me up with these. Um. It does. It is nice, though. We've gotten, yeah, all of our environmental protection, which is nice. Now it's literally just going to be getting through these doors. X-ray scope. Oh, there's cool. X-ray in the crumble blocks. Crumble block kingdom, y'all. Definitely not the best place. Not the best place, but now we've got the best group of items because that's going to make fighting Dragon and Fantoon really fun. Oh, yeah. Gonna liquefy that of them, and uh, also uh, Batwoon, which would be nice. And Batwoon, yeah. I always yep, forget about so that little fun. snake. Batwoon is frustrating. The furtive Batwoon, so easily forgotten. <laughs> Alright, so let's go up here. We're gonna go back to Wave Beam, because Wave Beam had a power bomb door we couldn't open before. Uh, there are also some other transitions we wanna check because there are lots of them. Okay. Uh, that's Super Bomb over there, so we're gonna... Uh, not Super Bomb, uh, Super Missile, rather. Words are hard, y'all. And also, just like a speed run, I hope nobody's a fan of Spore Spawn, because you're definitely not gonna see Spore Spawn tonight. Yeah, once we get super, Spore Spawn will be a thought of the past. Doing vanilla Spore Spawn is not common at all. I don't even know if it's successful based on the uh, door configuration, so it might be worth checking at some point if I do need to 
desperately check to see if supers are back there. Yeah, if, if you had to do spore spawn, I think that's like the equivalent of a pedestal seed in A Link to the yep. Past. More missiles. All right. <laughs> <laughs> This is this is what I get for not forcing even distribution on miners. <laughs> you give me like five hundred missiles. <laughs> you get the right, best so actually, we're gonna take the transition door over here. Hey, thank you for the raid flannel cat and Aurelia. Hey cat, hey Aurelia, good to see you. That's awesome. So yeah, we're gonna pop over here. We are going to see what this transition takes us. Hey, Kylaria, Alice, oh, lots of cool people just showed up. Heck yeah. For the, the weirdest seed I have ever seen. Yeah, for everybody joining up now, this Varia seed has been um, quite a ride. We got pretty much all the major items right away, um, but only the charge beam. And a lot of the doors were locked by power bombs and... Now we have plenty of power bombs, but we still don't have any beams. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, it's been a lot of wandering around wondering how to access areas behind these uh, beam doors. Not going to bother with that right now, but what we are going to do is check out the opposite side of Sponge Path. Yeah, I've never, I've never seen a seed in which uh, super missiles were a major item, but you know what? Uh, clearly that's what's going on here. Famous major item, super missiles. All right, that requires spacer, so we cannot open it. Uh, we also know where this goes, uh, which is just back to another, another area. I think, that's, uh, I think that's off a of red tower. Don't remember. There are other places in red tower we can check as well, but we're not gonna worry about that for the moment. What we are gonna do is check this over here. It's here, it's accessible, and maybe it's super missiles? Nope, nope it's power more, bombs. More cheeseburgers. <laughs> so while we're searching think... for supers and stuff, um, Surly, do you got anything to say about our current totals on save, kill, and taunt? That I do. Got a couple of things. We have five dollars from Jer Neighbor, which five dollars towards save the animals. We have ten dollars from Anonymous. It says kill the animals. Hmm. So that puts kill the animals in the lead at ten dollars. You know what? Like I said, I'm fine. I'm fine. I prefer saving the animals. I prefer if I don't save the animals to just you know to ditch the animals. Uh, but taunting the animals. The animals takes a special kind of person to, you know, go down there and do the thing that's required and then have to <laughs> have to Alcatraz escape out if you don't have space jump. It's it's a whole thing. It's the best kind of person because you're donating all that money to charity. That's true. Donation to charity, way more important than the uh, the ethics of taunting the animals. We'll leave the ethics to the scholars. We're randomizer runners here. All right. <laughs> Over here, we got one more transition area to check off of here before we've exhausted all of the ones we can check in this area. There's another one after this, but it requires super missiles, of all things. All right, where are you going to take us? Okay, we found uh. Torian. That's actually really good. Knowing where Torian is is quite nice. It doesn't help us right now, but it's nice to know. It'll help us later. I I cannot believe we are this far in and have not found super missiles yet. That's so deeply impressive. You better believe it because you're you're it, in it, it right now. <laughs> deeply impressive in all the wrong ways. Okay, where are we where are we going? If we're gonna follow the same path we took last time, then we should go down this way. 
Uh, we want to get back to Red Tower from... Oh, no, we want to go... Yeah, we got to go back this way. Well, you got plenty of missiles. Yeah, normally Green Gate is either you get it the first time or it takes, like, yeah, 25 shots. <laughs> there are more accurate lineups. I just choose to do the ones that are typically faster for me to execute. All right, so we're this way, and it's going to drop us into, what is it, Meridia. We'll take us back okay. to our tower. Yeah, we know wrecked ship was off of the path over there. So there's another one in here we didn't check before. We're going to check that door then. Oh, no, we can't wave. We need to wave to do that. So our goal should actually be to get back to Red Tower, so we need to get back to Criteria. It should be through here. Well, through Red Tower. Yeah, yeah this is the second loop uh... we've done through this. <laughs> all right so let me see, see what else there is to do with this so there's it's definitely red tower is going to be our progression path yeah i was trying to think of where you hadn't seen yet because so much is blocked by doors at this point yeah doors are basically blocking everything uh we haven't seen we have seen Eastern Meridia, and I could probably go and explore some of that. That was off of uh, Brinstar. But what I want to do first is check out Red Tower, because there are three transitions off of there we haven't gone through, um, which will definitely lead us towards some good stuff, probably leading us to Kraid. I would assume Kraid is off of that, unless Kraid is off of the backside of Eastern Meridia. But we'll, we'll see. I have some assumptions, things that I'm pretty sure are the case, but we'll have to figure that out. But it could be any right. of the bosses. Yeah, oh, that should be that's the other thing I forgot to forgot to mention. Uh, all of the bosses are also randomized, so we don't know which ones are in which spots. But fun fact, um, we've got most of what we need to beat all of them. I mean, two of them we can we can absolutely just melt. Um, Ridley would be a bit of a challenge because we're we don't have a ton of health uh, for doing it without having wave and ice beam. And yeah. yes, Mother Brain is in her normal location. Everything and at so... this point, yeah. I think Ridley's the only one that you would have a problem with. If you ran into it. Yeah, because usually the the typically the the strategy is to use uh, twelve full charges of the, of the entire the fully powered up beam and twelve super missiles or thirty super missiles. And uh, we don't really have uh, any super missiles, so. <laughs> We've got some checks coming up, though. Surely you'll find some super missiles. All right, so we found Lower Norfair. I can definitely go and get through Lower Norfair if we need to. Hmm. All right. So that was, okay, that's where this would have led anyway. Uh, so that's not really that useful for us. Oh, I see some Crocmire love in chat. We, it would be cool if we saw Crocmire in this run. Crocmire is best goopy boy. I love Crocmire. Also, fun fact, Crocmire is the skeleton, not the actual goop. It's the only thing that explains the skeleton popping out of the lava, is the skeleton is sentient and uh, the goop is just attached. I mean, technically, aren't we all the skeleton? and not just the goop. He's partially. Uh, I have not because the quicksand does not operate in the same way in this. Uh, because it's area randomized, quicksand will just take you back to the original area. It's so an area I definitely am going to go, though. It's just a matter of getting back to Eastern Meridia. You know, I'm glad you checked that location to get some more missiles. Yeah. Uh, definitely a thing. Uh, so we want to get back to Eastern Meridia as fast as possible then. I think that's probably our, our go-forward path. If we don't find Crocomire or, uh, oh, ah, crap. Crocomire or Kraid. Okay, so that requires Phaser, and I don't love doing that room, even when I have good stuff. Are you somewhere nice? You are Kraid. Excellent. 
Excellent, excellent, excellent. So we found a boss room. No guarantee that we'll... Actually, I believe this one is guaranteed to be accessible without beam weapons. And there's a check in here. Maybe we'll get our fabled super missiles. Nope, it's regular missiles. Those are some super missiles. This, again, this feels like the game is trolling me. Like, uh, I mean, th this is the thing. I rolled these seeds. I just had the person vet them. Like, this is super weird. <laughs> I don't know who I've never the seen seeds. it do this before. Whoever vetted this, I, I have no idea what they were thinking. <laughs> Well, whoever they are, they found uh, absolute gold. It was soul mass. What? Yeah, it was soul mass. <laughs> it was me, Goo Girl. It was me all along. The whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna have to kill this thing with missiles, which I have not done in a hot minute. Uh, so let's see who this is. And it's Ridley. Oh, right. Of course it's Ridley. We're gonna try. If I die, it's fine. Um, I shouldn't die if I do this right. That's a big if, because yeah, the lack of uh, super missiles for this fight, kind of awful. Don't have the damage totals off the top of my head, but I probably should know the actual damage totals for these. Yeah, I don't remember the so damage totals. Um, I just yes. know that you have three E tanks, you have both suits, you have charge, you've got plasma. It's it's just a matter of staying alive and getting enough shots in, really. Yeah, I don't actually know the cal the uh, calculation for damage with this uh, current setup. Just the, just the charge plasma. That's the thing I'm not sure of. Yeah, typically supers are 300, uh, because it's doing, uh, two times damage on Ridley. Uh, it's also why, while Ridley and Mother Brain have the same amount of health, Mother Brain takes twice as many super missile shots. But the same number of beam shots. Chat says damage for charged plasma is 150. I I'm gonna believe chat. Okay, so... 60 charge shots. It's doable. It's just gonna... gonna suck. also just absolutely dump missiles into Ridley. Yeah, you do have a lot of missiles. Well, not a lot okay, of health. so we're, we're probably gonna not survive this. It's fine. We can always come back when I've got better weapons and, you know, the super missiles. TM. Oh, there we go. It's the kind of knew that was going to happen. It's fine. You gave it a good go. It was worth a try. Indeed. <laughs> well, these things happen. So we're gonna we're gonna pop back here when we've got more. Uh... <coughs> we've actually got super missiles. Yeah, there's still some checks that we can go do, so we can come back. Yeah, the odds that that wouldn't be any of the bosses that we can easily kill, eh, not great. All right, so we're going to go pop back up here because this will give us, uh, should give us quick access back to, uh, let me double check. We want to get back to Brinstar, so that's going to be, mm, no, we're actually going to go down this way to get back to Brinstar faster. <laughs> All right, so over this way, we're going to go back through the tube that's going to take us up to Criteria, and from there we can get straight to Green Brin Star. From there, we can go to Eastern Meridia. Sounds like we've got a little travel time to... Absolutely. Go right ahead. Yep, awesome. go for it. Just want to remind everybody, we are supporting NAMI, the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Uh, NAMI's vision, it, 
is to provide advocacy, education, support, and public awareness so that all individuals and families affected by mental illness can build better lives. To do that, we have donations open. We have save, kill, or taunt the animals. So if you want to see uh, this classic save or kill the animals, or the lesser known but very exciting taunt the animals, uh, get your donations in. Be sure to select in your donations the select incentive button and then the which option is your preference as well as send in a nice little comment to our, our glorious runner and our commentator to uh, let them know <sighs> how wonderful of a job they're doing and how delightfully cursed this seat has been. <laughs> snail, really? You gonna do that, Snail? Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks, Gary. Uh, you should have just done snail jump. <laughs> <laughs> snail flip is fun. Uh, anyway, nothing. Okay. Oh, so worth it. Nothing. Are you? Hmm. I have words. I have words for the seed. Not things I can say on stream. What? You don't like saying right, positive so check this, things this on down stream? Here, if there's. Yeah, these sand pits will have two more checks each. Um, hopefully they will be something useful. I love this seed. Nothing. We appreciate your restraint, but we and also nothing. love this seed. <laughs> are, you, are you serious? Nothing and nothing, all right? Nothing <laughs> and nothing. I mean, the game gave In you a lot of, of practice. I did for this. You I, have I did not get anything nearly this cursed. You can just eat some cheeseburgers while you keep looking for them super missiles. Uh, we're probably gonna have to go into into lower Nora Fair. That's what I should have done as soon as I found it. I should have just gone through. Should have done the gravity jump. Would have been easy. But no, I chose to go to Meridia, where there's just straight up nothing. Nothing to see here, folks. All right, please. For if there's any mercy in this seed, there will be something here. Okay, there's oh, a ball. There's, if there's there's an item, at least. There's an item there. I wonder what it is. Okay, we got a reserve tank. Oh, that mystery that, item. Is that vanilla <laughs> reserve? <laughs> Almost vanilla. Oh, it's okay, a we've got more health. That's uh, it's some something. It's always nice to have more health. Come on, there we go. Uh, there we go. Let's just do that from the start. <sighs> Sand pits uh, officially gave us absolute garbage. I mean, okay, that's not fair. It's not fair. It's not yeah, complete it's... garbage. No, you have more health now in case you have to go fight Ridley again. I've got more health. That's uh, something. I mean, it's the only fight that requires this much health. Now that I've got four, Mother Brain would be just, yeah, would be easily clearable as well. And the reserve tanks. So we've got six tanks total, which is more than enough for most fights. But given the nature of having to kill Ridley with charge beam and having that charge beam be you know, sufficiently weaker than usual, or substantially weaker than usual, adds complication. Wow, I wonder where all those beams and super missiles are at. Oh, the uh, the ball in that uh, was a regular tank. Well, that asked in chat, so. Uh, boop. Oh, we're gonna go see the the snaky boy. Yep, we're gonna see uh, we're gonna see Batwoon. That'll raise my spirits. Uh, microwaving Batwoon is always fun. Yes. Uh, Anybody... Slight flashing lights warning for yeah, this, by flashing the way. Lights warning. It's... Yeah. Yep. But also a cool trick warning. Oh. Uh, didn't quite get I... him. Yeah, I think it was off. There we go. Slightly off, uh, mostly because I didn't have uh, x ray set when I was going in. That was my own fault. And that's Spazer. 
That's four doors. found a, w a beam. Yes, that is excellent. Honestly, we're gonna we're just gonna find all of the all of the non essentials, <sighs> except for supers. Clearly. Uh, also, let's turn off Spacer because it is a garbage weapon. What you don't like the wide beam? I don't like the wide beam well enough, but you know, it's okay. On a scale of one to ten, it's it's all right. It's just okay. Certainly no plasma beam. I mean, you've had the plasma beam for so long. How could anybody love the wide beam at this point? Yep. Come on. Ugh. This is not a hard thing to hit. Why am I why am I struggling so bad with this? There we go. And requires wave beam to open, so this was uh pointless. A little bit pointless. So back we go. At least we know what the door is now, which is important. It really is. Uh and Spazer opened up a couple doors for us, which should be nice. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure those doors are going to require a lot of backtracking, so... They are. We got we got a minute, so if there's anything... Uh, <laughs> yeah, surly. That would be... Yeah. Sure. Uh, let's talk about the channel. Let's talk about Random Mania. Random Mania has been in existence since 2017. It's been our mission to showcase as many randomizers as we can and bring them to people that have yet to enjoy them. It is a great place to see uh, and find new randomizers or new flag sets that you may not have seen before. Uh, this may only be the second event that they are raising money for charity, uh, or at least the focus is on raising money for charity, but you can always find them uh, supporting good stuff around randomizers and getting the word out there about what fun and interesting communities there are for the games you love. Okay, so we're on our way back now. Um, let's take a look at the maps real quick and see where we have spacer doors we haven't opened. Um, doesn't look like there's any in Brinstar that are going to be useful. We have X-Ray Room, which I don't want to do, so I'm just going to wait on that for a bit. Um, what's the other one we got? Um, oh, that's a power... I didn't do high jump. How did I miss high jump? Eh, I'm gonna go back and do high jump. It's so back to Norfair. Where are we gonna go from Norfair? I don't remember what's back there. I think there was a reserve <clears throat> tank back there, and you were excited to get that reserve tank and just skipped high jump. Yeah, I just wanted to see what was in the ice beam, and I guess I just forgot to loop back for it. It's fine, we'll grab that quick. For some reason, I thought it was a wave beam. Oh, just to show, while we're still using plasma beam, even though we we have uh, have that active, we can open spacer doors with it. Missiles. What have we got in here? More, More missiles. missiles. More power bombs. All right. Worth it. Ah. 
At some point, it stops being funny. <laughs> ah, crap. Didn't do the, uh, lemur. Eh, or Nella, rather. Oof. Getting sloppy. <sighs> yeah, it's just clearly not doing the thing. It's, that's, let's take a look back, make sure I'm not missing anything abundantly clear. Oh. Huh. This one, that was supers as well. That was another slight misstep. But it's fine. So there are a couple different kind of randomizers for Super Metroid. There's this one, which is Varia, which just randomizes the area locations. And then there's another one, which is a full map rando. And it, it randomizes where all the rooms are entirely and creates a totally new map. Um, in those kind of randos is where you normally see seeds like this, where everything will be locked behind supers. And until you find the supers, you can't make much progression. Um, you don't normally see that in a Varia seed. Not typically, no. Ugh. That was deeply unfortunate. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna mess with the D boost. I'm just gonna, just gonna, just gonna bomb jump up. Uh, infinite bomb jump, our beloved. There we go. Slow but effective, and if I hadn't messed up the damage boost twice, I would have just done the damage boost. And missiles! More missiles. Hey, we still got some more checks in here, though. All right, we're going to uh, Lower North Air. So after all these delightful missiles, I'll give you a quick update here. We got $25 from Anonymous. It says, kill and eat those tasty, tasty animals, which now firmly puts kill the animals in the lead at thirty-five dollars. All right, kill the animals is in the lead. That's good. <laughs> well, one second. All right, gonna make our way back to uh, back to Red Tower. Only take me a minute to uh, get back let's, there. Let's make this interesting, chat. I mean, we can't have kill that far in the lead. But let's get some donations in for. Uh... Either save or taunt. Let's make a race of it, huh? Absolutely. I, yep. I, I want to see this challenge. taunt. Oh, I've converted somebody over to taunt. <laughs> I don't know what I'm getting into, but I'm, I'm down to try new things. Just gotta grab my bearings quick. Uh, this should take us back to Red Tower. And now we have the ability to actually go through Red Tower properly. Uh, we have uh, spacers. We can open some of those doors we couldn't open. Specifically just for navigation purposes. But definitely going to Lower North Air. It seems like the, the right path to go. Um, since we do not have high jump, I'm just going to do... <sighs> I'll probably just do the uh, gravity jump. 
a little more complicated with that high jump, but it's fine. Only a little. Alright, almost there. <laughs> Takes a couple Great. seconds. So again, you get these sort of maps that are stacked on top of each other so that they've got these very weird connection sets. If I remember correctly, you can actually defeat Mother Brain without super missiles. How many missiles would you need, Gray? Regular missiles? Uh, not the left off my head, but I would definitely make sure I have the, uh, the beam weapons before I do that. Just, oh, we're going to sure. need them anyway to open the doors. So charge beam shots, it takes 24. No, 20. I think it's 20. So. <laughs> Sober, Dwarf. Sober Dwarf is going to step away for five minutes so you'll find super missiles. Thank you, Sober Dwarf. Ah, lost it. It's fine. I'll do it again. That yeah, was too early. That should be fine. Might be a little short. I did just a hair too early. Nope. Got it. Oh, if I could just land that ball jump. <laughs> and again, with feeling. You got this. I did actually hit it. That should be fine. Now, the cool thing about Lower North Rear is there's so many checks left down it here is. that it's very likely we're going to find almost everything down here. Yep, that jump is uh, kind of annoying to do. Like I said, without high jump boots, normally if you had high jump boots, that uh, gravity jump would take you uh, all the way to the top. You just pop right over. Uh, but because we could only get partway up, we had to do the wall jump sets and then sort of jump on top of the thing and just jump over. So. It's a little more complicated, but it was easily doable. Grab that save, so I'm going to go and check over here. We're going to check Golden Teresa's area. Uh, simple as that. Oh, wait, did we just, did we just break four figures? We most we certainly did. Four figures. In fact, we did. Heck yeah. Good on y'all. That's awesome. Yes, thank you so much for the donations, everybody. For chat. It was um, from a fifty dollar uh donation from Silly Dabbit. No comment. Thank you so much for the donation. Alright, so we got that. We're gonna drop a power bomb right here. Uh, is this going to be Vanilla Super Missile? It is Vanilla Super Missile. <laughs> oh, thank you. GT Classic of another variety. Yep. Don't maybe I just face tank this. Oh yeah, I forgot you had too many missiles, so he's doing all these different moves. Yeah, I'm not actually hitting the right spot, but I also don't have the missiles to do the normal strategy, which is get close enough that he throws the missiles up in the air. It's fine though, I'm just gonna, like I said, face tank it. I really don't care. There's a health station in the other room. And another thing you can do to, to avoid like these wave attacks that he's doing is you can dump all of your missiles um, and he won't do that attack. But it's fine. We have, we have plenty of... We had the plasma beam and all the suits. It wasn't really necessary. Yeah, I cannot honestly believe that that was where we got, where we got supers. That's incredible in the worst possible way. Yeah, hold on. Our our current item percentage is uh, 53%. That's amazing. There are some seeds at home where I don't get that many uh, items in total. 
All right, we're gonna we're gonna do this the uh, again, the easy way, which is I'm going to just just bomb jump up. I don't feel like messing around with certain things, so we're just gonna do this the uh, reliable, if slightly slower way. Yeah, this, I mean, in all honesty, I'm not great at short charging. This is a, a lengthy infinite bomb jump, so certainly if you've got anything you want to, to talk about for a little bit, go ahead. Absolutely. So let's talk about Nami again, <sighs> National Alliance on Mental Illness. Uh, Nami is offered in thousands of communities across the United States through NAMI state organizations and NAMI affiliates. Their education programs ensure hundreds of thousands of families, individuals, and educators get the support and information that they need. In addition, NAMI hosts support groups for those with mental illness and caregivers so that no one feels alone in their mental health journey. Such a wonderful, worthwhile cause. It's a wonderful, worthwhile cause. And we'll just do a quick shout to, we do have an open incentive if you'd like to donate towards save, kill, or taunt the animals for this run, as well as deciding the Michael Jackson outfit tomorrow morning when we start up again. And you get to choose between red or white. Hmm, we're left with a fun conundrum here. Could go back or I could continue forward. I think we're going to uh I think we're gonna go we're gonna go back. So that would be a funundrum. It's probably a good idea. We've got so many so many things that are open by super missiles that we probably should just go back and check those. Eh, you know what? No, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna save, I'm gonna go and then just do that. So we'll just grab this quick safety save. Yeah, we're down and then we'll here go anyway. and do more of Lower North Fair. May as well while we're down here. Exactly, there's stuff here. We've got, we've got enough stuff to do the uh, the worst room without there being too much consternation. So, I mean, really, having screw attack kind of makes the worst room a lot, a lot easier. It's mostly just the bomb jump we're gonna have to do because we don't have high jump, which is fine. Usually it's the pirates that are the problem, especially since we don't have ice beam. That's the other way you would normally do that room, is if you have ice beam, you can freeze the pirates and use them as a platform. But in this case, we're just going to use, use the bomb jump because it's easy. I just know you had the shake turned off in that room. Normally when uh, you're yeah, in turned room, off, the Yeah, I turned off shake shakes. and flash effects on power bombs. I don't know if anyone's noticed that, but just for, for flashing lights warning kind of stuff. Beautiful accessibility settings. options are always good. I agree. I love accessibility options in games. We're going to infinite bomb drop up the worst room in the game. Usually refer to the worst room for a handful of reasons. Uh, mostly the fact that it is very hard to navigate in a lot of ways um, without having the full set of items. And I know uh, in most cases, when you're doing this through most of the speedruns, you don't have a full set of items. And I dropped early. Why did I drop early? Yeah, that was like one uh, bomb too early. Brain, why are you doing these things to me? Anyway. More time to talk about Back the worst the room in the game. Yeah. Uh, in, in many cases, you're here without any of the items you really need to navigate it properly. Uh, so this is sort of a, this sort of a thing. And these golden pirates, if you don't have all those items, deal so much damage. If you touch them, they basically kill you. Yep. I mean, here they normally they're, they're purple, golden. In this case, but... they're purple, which is you know. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we're gonna check what is colloquially called the Mickey Mouse room for obvious reasons. Uh, we love seeing the Mickey Mouse room. Cage two. It's it's the Mickey Mouse. Room. There's nothing in it. Oh. <laughs> this, this seed hates me. I, I think I might legitimately be cursed. Oh, it's the curse from Dragon Quest 2 coming back to haunt us all. <laughs> it's kind of disconcerting, like, not having the screen shake in this room because you just, like, watch the lava rise. <laughs> 
Yeah, it doesn't feel like anything's happening, and then you're just like, oh, hey, there's lava. Yeah, I've been playing with, uh, without the screen shake, without the flashing up for so long that I, just, I don't even notice it. It's just kind of how I expect it to be. All right, we're gonna check over here. Um, I would normally go down and check stuff, but there's really no reason to. We know we're not gonna have the beam weapons here to the boss room. I mean, that's, okay, that's not fair. We most likely won't have the beam weapons. <laughs> hey, more missiles. Clutch final missiles. That's almost go mode. It is almost go mode. There we go. Landed it back on that. Uh, all we need is like 400 more missiles. And a few beams. Yeah. 72 minutes in and we got super missiles. That's actually really incredible. Another E-Tank, which I'll probably grab because why not? Kind of on the way back. Never yeah, bad I probably should six check Power Bombs of Shame while I'm at it, but... Eh, yeah, we'll do this first. More E-Tanks. So we're getting health. It's good. I mean, we're gonna go up here, really we're gonna check the transition to off of this area as well, see where that takes us. I'm gonna guess it's probably gonna take us either back to Criteria, or it's going to take us to... Hmm. Well, we'll see. We'll see where it goes. Nothing. Mm, Got nothing. it. Interesting. Thus goes the seed. Missiles are nothing. All right, three musketeers, not really dangerous here because we've got all the stuff we need, but sometimes those three musketeers are kind of scary. Okay, so we now know where the other side of this is. That's missiles. Definitely don't need those. Definitely don't need those. We do want to check that transition side, though, so we're going to... Okay, we don't have wave beam, so we're not going to go in there. What we are going to do is charge up a... Charge up a shine spark. And dash through across. here. So this is probably Krakenmeyer. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's Krakenmeyer. No, it's Meridia. Okay, so it's back to Meridia. So that means Krakenmeyer is up of, off of Upper Norfair, uh, behind the super missile only exit. So basically the entrance to Kraid. Only five supers. Yeah, uh, we have been uh, starved of supers. I'm going... I'm going back down, and I'm gonna check what's in the uh, power bombs of shame, just because I wanna I wanna make sure. And we're also gonna check that boss door because if I can do it, I'm gonna do it while I'm here, and then we don't have to go back to Lower Norfair. I mean, you can Let's definitely do led. all the bosses at this point. Yep. So if we do need to get back here, we can also go go to Eastern Meridia to get back here. So that's not a huge deal. Uh, oh, we're gonna go this way for the extra E tank because at this point. Any kind of insurance is good. And on and the plus side, if it happens to be Fantoon, that does unlock a bunch of checks in the uh, wreck ship. Yep. Always good. There we go. That didn't need to be a power bomb, but it was anyway, because reasons. Yeah, I, I guess I will. I feel way better now that I've got at least some super missiles. As meager as five is, it's you know, it's comforting. It's now I can open some of those doors. We can do some of the other tricks. I mean, I'm not gonna waste them trying to do the uh, the wave gate glitch because ugh. But yeah, we'll we'll see what's down here in uh, Power Bombs of Shame. Hopefully, it's something nice. It's something we would have missed out on if we just went straight out. Uh, yeah, you know what? Safety save, why not? <sighs> All right, what do we got down here, good girl? No idea. It's probably, like I said, it's either going to be super missiles or it might be an item. Um, but clearly it lit, just shoved all of the super missiles into a couple areas. Oh, hey, it's phaser door. That's one door. We have one more door before we uh, can really determine if we are going to be able to do this boss fight or not. Also, I'm going to have to fight the, uh, fight the metal pirates uh, without supers, which, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, speed Usually booster. use charge shots, but we just don't have... Hey, more supers! Hey, supers! Excellent. 
Ugh. There we go. Can unclench a little bit. This is definitely a seed for the ages, though. Oh, it's Ice Beam, so we can't actually do this boss fight right now. But it's fine, though. We've now got a path forward. We can go take out Krokemeyer. Maybe Krokemeyer will give us something nice. The one we can loop back and go do Ridley. I'm going to guess Croc has, like, a Wave Beam or an Ice Beam. Yeah, you, you're That's at the thought. point now where there's not a lot of checks left, so... Yeah, the fact we've gone through over half the items. It seems like a lot of stuff is just stacked in um, what's left, which is wrecked ship and um, behind the bosses. All right, so a little bit of uh, insight into how this also and how this works for certain things. One of the fun things, too, is you can set the progression speed. I keep mine set to slow. Uh, slowest is just way, way too uh, glacial for my, my, take, my, my liking, rather. Um, but because it's slow, I can kind of glean where it might put things based on the types of checks that I have, things I pick up. As soon as we get Ice Beam or uh, Grapple Hook, we should go and check Spring Ball. So either doing the uh, the Puyo Ice Clip or doing, um, well, once we have the stuff to do, the uh, Grapple Hook check, which I do not have it set to do bombs only, so. Because bombs only uh, is not fun. Yeah, nobody likes doing bombs only. Alright, let's take a look at the map and see what other, what other doors we have yet to open that we can now open with supers. It's not a huge list. Uh, that's a spacer door, so we can go grab that item up there. Um, that's a wave, so we don't have to worry about that. <sighs> Supers, we've got that door down there, so we can do uh, do waterway, which is nice. Um, what else have we got? Uh, we have the entrance over there that'll take us to Krokemeyer, so Krokemeyer will be open. Um, so Supers really only opened up a couple things. Also... Mm. That. Oh, yeah. Mama Turtle. Yeah, Plasma. Mama Turtle. That's what we should go back and do. But first, we'll check the uh, the spacer door above the ship up here. Oh, of course. We it's were here, here. We a long time ago. Yeah. Maybe not. It's missiles. Oh, of course. <laughs> hey, it's Luke back back around to being funny again. God, we love this seed. It's perfect for Randathon. I could not have drawn a more cursed seed. <laughs> oh, and for anyone who's, who's um, interested, the logic tool that I'm using is veteran, so it's not too difficult. Uh, mostly the reason I stick to veteran is, for marathon purposes is because the tricks that are in uh, Expert and Hire are not only kind of annoying to pull off, but they also are less consistent to pull off. So you end up wasting time doing things that are, while technically impressive, take a lot of time to do. If you aren't, like, incredibly practiced on them. And uh, I am not that practiced on, on a lot of those. So we are doing a little bit more backtracking once again. Um, Surly, you got any updates for us? How's it going? I do have a fairly exciting update. Ooh, what is it? We got $28.03 from Anonymous. It says, Taunt the Animals. Oh, ho, ho, ho. So that has put Taunt the Animals barely in the lead. 80 cents in the lead, to be precise. So get your donations in if you would like to change that vote. Uh, we got a little time left, but donations are always welcome. Yeah, the more uh, the more stuff we uh, we get tossed towards that, the better off we are, uh, and it's all for a wonderful, wonderful cause. Right, so we're gonna we're gonna do this. This is something we could have done earlier if it weren't for the door. Um, primarily, this is gonna, what we call waterway. Um, we actually have the stuff to do it right for once, which is the first time in a very long time I've been able to do this the quote unquote right way, which is basically just running at full speed into this area over here. Our grapple hook. All right. Hey, you found a beam. 
I found a beam. It's not one that's useful, but it's one that's here. Um, also, we can go to X-ray room. That's the thing we can do. I don't think it's going to be consequential, but we can do it. Yeah, that's that's definitely a room. It's a room. Got all the stuff to do Mama Turtle the right way, too, which I'm not going to, because why would I do that? Probably because there's two checks in that room. Well, we're going to do Mama Turtle. I'm just not going to do it the right way, or the way <laughs> that is intended, rather. All right, so let's do those up there. That super missile block is always terrible. All right, what's uh missiles in the super in the uh, uh, mission impossible room? All right, so let's go. Uh, let's do spore spawns room. Um, the back back way into spore spawn room because that's straightforward and easy. It's usually one of the first things I check because supers are usually a dime a dozen. All right, so whoops. Didn't mean to jump off there. Yep. Yeah, reset that real quick. Reset the scroll. And there we go. There it is. Yeah. Fun fact, I don't actually use Samus' sprite that often. Most times I either do this as Maria Reynard, uh, a different Samus sprite that is not the normal suit. And there's nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> or I play as uh, my personal favorite and the one I was hoping would have won the Sprite War, which was Buff Kirby. Because who doesn't love a Buff Kirby? Especially because Buff Kirby is a very cursed Sprite. It is not cursed. Oh, I, I'm saying I love it because it's cursed. <laughs> That is the way Kirby was always meant to be. Instead of a lovable round puffball, he is a giant hulking beast of a, of a, of a Kirby. It's amazing. I mean, technically, he's always a giant hulking beast of a Kirby. He's just very round and cute looking. And sometimes he's car shaped. Sometimes. All right, so we're going to go down this way because we can go and do, I believe there was a super missile door down here. No, that was way too wrong. Okay, so we're not doing that. Scratch that. Doing something different. Let's go do Krakemeyer. Let's, Let's go, go see meet the our boy. Favorite Scoopy boy. He's our most favorite Scoopy boy. Uh, this will, in fact, also be a flashing lights warning when it happens, uh, and I will give a closer warning when it's about to go off. So, one of the fun things about... Okay, let's just pop off our speed booster, because that is, is another one of those jumps where speed booster actually makes it harder. I forgot you still uh, don't have high jump boots. <laughs> still don't have high jump boots. Yeah. All right. Let's say hi to the goopy boy. Yep. As soon as this uh, plasma beam hits him in the mouth, uh, he's going to flash like crazy. So if you have any uh, issue with flashing lights, definitely look away. It's mitigated by the type of uh, flashing lights uh, stuff I've got turned off, but it still does flash pretty pretty frequently. And that should be a one-shot croc. Hey, there's our ice beam. So, like you said, we got ice beam, we've got grapple. Should probably go check spring ball. As soon as we're done here, we'll go. We'll go check Ice Beam. We'll do uh, the Puyo Clip. Uh, I will warn you, I'm kind of terrible at the Puyo Clip, but I'll do it anyway. Um, just because I don't want to do the standard grapple hook with the uh, grapple beam, uh, the standard spring ball check uh, with just grapple hook. It's a pain in the butt. You can technically do a thing where you jump out of there, you jump out of the uh, sand, and you. Yep, oh, that was. Not Oops. what I wanted to do at all. <laughs> also not what I wanted to do at all. <laughs> Fell short. It's fine. I mean, Super Metroid controls, for anybody who's not familiar with Super Metroid controls, are, there we go. are, are, are much more difficult than Grey Googles making it look. 
Yeah, Super Metroid, um, I like to describe it as uh, it plays like your your controllers in a burlap sack. It's uh, it's not great. It's not intuitive. But once you get, once you learn what you're doing, I can I can play at a competent level. I am by no means a at speedrunner level kind of kind of play. Um, one of the most interesting things about this particular game is that it is it has an incredibly high skill cap. So I can do certain things. I am, again, not running at the quality of like actual speedrunners. Hey, got it one. Nice. But still doing a lot of the tricks that the speedrunners know how to do. Uh, yes, this, the palette shifting colors is entirely part of the randomizer. Uh, just enter, answering chat. Um, we have it said that it does a randomized color switch for everything that is not Samus. Ah, we're super missiles. Oh, I feel so I feel so blessed now. You feel better now? You, you finally got the supers? Yeah, I feel like I can breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little worried there for a minute. I'm like, how long am I going to go without getting supers? <laughs> Absolutely absurd. And more supers. Uh, to, to answer your question, uh, yeah, the seed has been, uh, it, it was 72 minutes before we got our first supers. So that that's how the seed's been going. It uh, played hide the super missiles forever. It started us with both suits right away and we still had to struggle to find supers. You got both suits, you got speed booster, morph ball, bombs. Um, yep, and then it didn't uh, take very long plasma as well. Yeah, plasma. You also got screw attack fairly quickly. Yeah. And then the, the search for a long time was power bombs. And then the search for a much longer time became super missiles. Yeah, it, like I said, it hid the miners in this so badly. Um, way worse than, than typical for these sorts of runs. Okay, so now that we've got that taken care of, um, we're going to go back this way, although I think we have a wave beam door blocking us. Um, no, it's not a wave beam. Uh, I think it was a spacer. Wave beam's at the other section for it. Oh, so we're going to go back and do a thing I tried to do earlier with missiles, but it's just a lot easier to do with supers, um, which hopefully has something useful. I don't expect it will. Uh, I've, I've given up on expecting that anything useful is going to come out of these checks. No, you're going to find something you like finally. For sure. Yeah, maybe. But I did want to also update on anyone just popping in that the first boss that we encountered since bosses are also randomized in this um, was Ridley. And we did not have a whole lot of items to uh, take out Ridley. So we... We had to back off on Ridley. That's too far out. Come on. Go look one pixel too far. Did I, I thought I heard it go off earlier. Nope, did not. Cool. There it is. It is. <sighs> All right, what was hidden behind this? Spring ball. Sp Fantastic. Beautiful. That's what we want to see. That opens everything up. That uh, That's definitely a, a useful thing to have. Um, not really, it doesn't add, oh, well, it doesn't open that much up for us at this point, but it does definitely give us, yes. Uh, yeah. Yes, to be clear, I was being very sarcastic <laughs> this late it's into still... the scene. <laughs> It's still decent to have for mobility, but yeah, it's it's not great to have this late. And if it's like the only reason that Spring Ball is super useful in most seeds is to do Meridia without suits. Um, there's a trick that lets you basically just get a second jump with Spring Ball after you've already jumped. So it makes the difference in, the, in uh, underwater navigation, but. <sighs> All right, we're going to pop back over this way. Let's go back to you back to Red Tower. Give me like half a second to look at my map and figure out where the heck I'm going. Um. Yeah, while uh, while Gray's looking at the the Pepe Sylvia map, uh, Surly, do you have any more 
uh, information you'd like to talk about. Yeah, just a quick reminder that uh, Randomania is doing the Randathon in support of NAMI, National Alliance of Mental Illness. Just want to remind people that millions of lives are impacted daily by mental health conditions. To show your support, NAMI participates in several annual mental health awareness events. Find yours at NAMI.org. All right, so I've just figured out where I'm going at this point. Uh, we are going to go on our way. We're going to take our trip back to uh, back to Rex Chef. We are able to take out the boss there, so I'm going to do that right now. We're going to love to see it too. This is going to be some sweet revenge. This is this is going to be catharsis for uh, for the super missiles. Watch by some like some you know, act of fate. It's an oops all Ridley seat or something, <laughs> which I mean, not actually a thing that can happen. But you know what? I also didn't think that uh, hiding the uh, hiding the super missiles would happen like that. So you know what? All expectations gone. It would be fun if it was like SMRK and you could just make all the bosses Ridley. <laughs> that would be that'd be a thing. <laughs> SM Arcade is, by the way, an incredibly cool uh, mod out there. It's really, really well done. If you haven't played it, I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. It... Wow. I'm having an off night, y'all. <laughs> Usually wall jumps don't give me any kind of uh, consternation, but clearly tonight. <laughs> I think it's just the seed, really. It's getting in my head, getting the yips. I don't play Super Metroid of any kind, and this has seemed surprisingly cruel. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's definitely not normal. We'll put it that way. Yeah, her, the the interesting thing about this seed is it's it's not really been a particularly difficult seed to play. It's just been a very difficult seed to find the items that you need. Normally I would just do a quick kill, but I'm just not going to bother with it. Gotta it's love a, a red crate. Does that make it a, a Ripley crate? Because he's red? <laughs> Oops, all Ridleys. Let's see what the item is in here. Probably nothing. It's absolutely nothing. <laughs> Does mean we go back to Ridley's, uh, when we go back to Crade's area, uh, we can grab the item that Crade typically has in it, so. Doesn't mean Rex's ship is open, which would have been nice, but, you know. Yes, unfortunately, we still have to kill Fantoon to, uh, power up the Rex ship. The game still works that way. We can't just kill the boss here to unlock it. Okay, so that's one boss down. Uh, we've got three more to go. It's just a matter of getting to them. Uh, what was blocking the one in Meridia? That's a good question. Um, that's that's Wave Beam. Okay, so we still got to find Wave Beam. It's the only thing that's sort of outstanding right now. Uh, let's check out Mama Turtle. That's the next place we're going to go. Love the Mama Turtle room. It's one of my favorites. And as far as palette swaps go, I, I do have to say this hasn't been a very aesthetically pleasing to look at seed. All right, let me look at the, again, look at the map to make sure I'm going the right way to get the right place, because we get it to, what, Western Meridia, which we get from the normal Crocomire entrance. Stuff down this way. Please watch me do another gate glitch. This still don't have weight beam. Here, 
there it is. Yep, sure, Mom and Turtle's gonna have something. Uh, hopefully they won't both be empty, but you never know. Yeah, there's two checks at Mama Turtle. Um, with only three checks left in West Meridia, it's probably got something at least in one of those checks. No, actually, yeah, it has to be. Um, so I keep the Varya HUD on just as a uh, kind of way to know what is still where. Um, it's just sort of a marathon safety thing. Uh, typically, it just lets you know how many checks are left in an area. So you, if you do miss something um, that you didn't intentionally skip, you kind of know to go back and look for it. It's uh, just kind of coverage. And it was missiles. <laughs> worth it. Absolutely worth it, of course. Absolutely worth it. Well, I think with 125 missiles and 25 supers, 40 powers, I think we're well prepared for Mother Brain. Yeah, uh, this shouldn't be a problem. Let's go. Let's go take care of the boss that's in Lower Norfair. Um, maybe the fastest way to get back there is to go through Eastern Meridia, which means going to Brinstar. Say so this is trying to go back in the front entrance of Lower Norfair. So we're going to go back to Brinstar, which was accessible. This is Criteria, so we're going to go through here. That's going to take us back up to the top and go to Brinstar, go through the... Go through Eastern Meridia, and that will drop us off directly in Criteria, behind a door we can't normally go through, to go to Lower, Nor Lower Norfair. All of that definitely made sense. Yeah, because that's... Yeah, of course. Going to Criteria to, to go to Nor to go to uh, Eastern Meridia to go back to Criteria to go to Lower Norfair. Definitely high up on the list of normal things for for normal seeds. Words are being said. I understand all of them. <laughs> yep. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah, if you're interested in playing Super Metroid, you should start with the uh, Varia area rando. Having again, having an off night when it comes to doing wall jumps. <sighs> and where would I find the resources to start the Varia room rando? If you uh, go onto Google and you just Google uh, Super Metroid Varia randomizer, uh, it's the top result. If you'll find the website, there are some helpful tips right on the front page of the website, which will walk you through the steps to how you can play this randomizer. Uh, it's very okay. fun. Highly recommended. And there's settings that are on a sliding scale, so you can play it on much easier settings than this. You don't have to have the the beam doors turned on or the randomized bosses or any of that stuff. Um, Ray Google is just very good at this randomizer, so she's chosen to turn on a lot of those things, and uh, that's why you end up with seeds like this sometimes. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, also, the uh, fun thing about this is, uh, about the uh, website as well, uh, they have a full set of explanation of what is involved in every logic, every type of logic. So when you talk about basic, it'll tell you exactly what it expects you to do. Um, so you have a baseline of these are the things I need to do to start. And from there, you can just sort of expand out and do more and more things as yeah, as you get better at the game. When I started, I was doing just basic logic uh, on the oh, when I started, I was using a different randomizer entirely, but yeah, the, uh... Ugh, hold on a second. When I started, I was using one of the other randomizers, but, uh, yeah. Once you learn some of the basics and the fundamentals, you can learn more about, uh, different tricks and such. And, yeah, cool uh, sort of expand is, what difficulty you run on. Yeah, cool thing is it will... It'll give you a list of the different tricks that are in the, the different levels of, um, uh, from difficulty. And there's actually a link to a, a video of how to do each of those tricks, so... It'll hold your hand. It's it's not like you you have to know a lot about the game to get into it. Uh, if you just want to step it up to the next level, you can just go on there, look at all the tricks, watch the videos, and see how to learn to do them, and you're good to go. All right. Actually, we're gonna pop down and do spring ball quick. 
I love anything that will feed my addiction to have 14 tabs open at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. But yeah, the, uh, like said, the explanations of logic are really important for learning any randomizer, um, whether that be like this or like past or any of the other highly popular ones. And is it time for the ice clip? Time for the ice clip. I don't fail to jump up there. Whew. Good lord. And we're gonna go back. Sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> hey, nothing to apologize for. This is actually a, a pretty difficult trick to do. Uh, what Grey Google is trying to do is get up to this Puyo that's jumping around and use Ice Beam while it's doing uh, one of its jumps so it can freeze in the middle of the jump and be a few frames up off the floor. That's going to help push Samus' sprite up through the ceiling above her. Uh, we're going to try an X-Ray climb through it. There we go. <laughs> so that was two different tricks. Yep, extra climb is the easiest way to get through that part of the floor. And uh, did you see that Puyo ice grip? Because I certainly did. Yep, and now we get to see our, our wonderful friend, the Shack Tool. Uh, it's going to take a second, so if there's any uh, announcements, donations, that kind of stuff, that would be wonderful. We did get uh, $1 from your neighbor that says, get, wait, save the animals. <laughs> Otherwise, I uh, do want to remind folks that this is on the Random Mania channel. You're here. You found it. Thanks for being here. Uh, it's the seventh event on the Random Mania channel, but it's only the second marathon that is focused on raising money for charity. They're here to provide a wonderful spotlight for randomizers and all of the wonderful randomizer communities. So if you want to check out new randomizers, this weekend is a wonderful opportunity to see what is available within the randomizer world. Yeah, like I learned earlier today that uh, the uh, Dragon Quest II randomizer was a thing. So that's probably something I'm going to have to try at some point. Honestly, the Dragon Quest II randomizer is probably more fun than Dragon Quest II Vanilla. Yeah, I've been meaning to go back and play through some of those. Like, I, I played through the... Um, I, I played Dragon Quest when I was a kid. Uh, still under the name Dragon Warrior, obviously. But uh, never played Same the second here. or third. So I've meaning to go, go back and do this. Second one is kind of a black sheep of the franchise. Ah. But uh, Dragon Quest Three is a classic definitely on the list of things they need to do uh the uh switch up uh the switch ports that they uh they made so those should be this should be a lot of fun sort of casual thing but like for the randomizer definitely seems like it'd be a lot of fun all right so this is going to kick us out uh at the uh, criteria which is going to give us access to a door that is normally blocked off by a wave beam As we're going from the back side of it. So all of these doors, in an effort to try and prevent soft locking, um, what they've done is they've made it that doors that are are blocked by colors are typically still accessible from the ah, from the other side rather. So that's the only reason we can get away with doing this. Big fan of uh, older RPGs. Some of the other stuff that I, I tend to run, um, I run Chrono Trigger, uh, Jets of Time, which absolutely love that. I ran that on GDQ like two weeks ago. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of uh, a lot of like older RPG randomizers, Earthbound, uh, Final Fantasy IV Free Enterprise, all of which are absolutely fantastic. Um, so if you like Super N Super Nintendo era RPGs, also really good for randomizers. Yeah, Free Enterprise is one of the more popular randomizers these days among all randomizers. It's, it's taken up a lot of uh, people lately. On the plus side, too, they actually just add, they're adding support for Archipelago, so it'll be part of the multi-world. Mm, that's awesome. Extremely yeah. excited for this. Very freaking cool, mostly because there are so many chests in that game. 
Uh, there's hundreds of checks, so it, it adds a lot of uh, a lot of variety, and it's you, you can't really burn through an RPG uh, set of checks as fast as you could through uh, a lot of the uh, sort of actiony kind of games. Metroidvanias in particular are usually pretty quick when it comes to multi-world. As a Kingdom Hearts 2 degenerate, um, yes, we have hundreds of checks, but we plow through them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was part of the uh, Archipelago multi-world earlier. That was absolutely fascinating. I mean, the number of games now involved in Archipelago is just incredible. Also, uh, yeah, waiting for uh, Tunic to finally hit full of the, uh, the regular branch as well. That'll be awesome. Working through my first playthrough of that. I'm excited. Yes. I, I love that game to death. Um, it just kind of gripped me in a way that I haven't been, haven't been grabbed by a game in a long time. Uh, so much so that I now I run the randomizer at least once a week. Uh, for a while there, I ran like four or five seeds in a week just to kind of practice up. Kind of a small obsession for like a month and a half but i mean that's how randomizers go you, you find a thing you like and then you do it way too much and uh yeah. either pull back or you stick with it with super metro to stuck with it there yeah, that go. sounds like randomizers in a nutshell <laughs> yep and i mean they'll come and go you'll pick stuff up and you'll put stuff down but there's always going to be one you go back to and for me that's that's typically free enterprise and uh Chrono Trigger are the ones that I tend to pop back to most often, but with uh, Super Metroid, it's one of those things where I, just, I never put it down to begin with. And it's always fun to find new and interesting ways to do things. Uh, Link to the Past, for example, has uh, a whole bunch of branches to the uh, the style of uh, that was popularized by the main branch. There's stuff like the, door, the Dungeon Door Rando and Dungeon Connection Randos. Those are a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to uh, have a flashing lights warning here for a second because we're going to microwave this squid. Yep, this is Fantoon. Uh, say hi to Fantoon, y'all, because we're going to be saying bye to Fantoon momentarily. Yep. That. That's not fun. Fantoon, yeah. why? I thought we were friends. Fantoon gave you the slow pattern and really bad flames. It's, he's just not being nice today. Fantoon, I think I'm gonna have to disinvite you from my birthday party. All right, that should be enough. Yep. All right, consider Fantoon officially disinvited from the birthday party. So this uh, this works by uh, okay so. The developers of the game knew that Plasma had this predilection to, if paused, hit things twice. Um, but they figured in their uh, <laughs> their own wisdom that no one would ever find a way to utilize that because you don't get Plasma until after you've beaten three of the four bosses. Uh, so they fixed it for Ridley, but didn't fix the actual behavior. Um, Krakomire, you don't need to do it because Krakomire just, he takes so many hits, so rapid fire from it that it doesn't matter. Um, for um, for Craig, you don't really need it either because he, he takes hits in a different way. Uh, but there's the quick kill for that. Uh, but when it came to Fantoon and Dragon and Batwoon, they just didn't bother fixing it because they, they figured no one would ever actually have the opportunity to it, not realizing just how um, broken the game is. If I could just do these spring balls. So because of that, we get uh, microwaving as a thing. Super Nintendo right, so games that broken. Done. That never happens. So our next stop is going to be Wreck Ship. We've got a bunch of checks that do in Wreck Ship. Uh, we still also have to do X-ray room. Uh, that should be pretty easy to do. We've got more than enough stuff to deal with it, and we should probably go back and take care of Ridley. Um, I did want to get Wave before then, but with with Ice, it's it's fine. We, we'll do enough. And we've got the item in crate to check as well. So we're we're actually in the home stretch right now. Yeah, at this point, it's it's technically in go mode because there's not very many checks left. It's really just going at the bosses, and and we're we're most likely to find what we need on the way or after the bosses. 
Yeah, our biggest thing right now is we need to find Wave Beam for it to be go mode so we can actually get through <laughs> get through the uh, the door on the way into uh, Dragon's area, which should just vanilla Dragon, so that's fun. Gotta love a vanilla Dragon. Yep. No, oh, just to, uh, I mean, obviously people who are watching this are familiar with randomizers. I was about to explain the, the idea of vanilla and French vanilla, but yeah, I'm used to explaining these to speedrunning uh, people rather than to randomizer watching, you know, that kind of community, so. Probably don't need to explain that. <laughs> Alright, so our next stop is gonna be wreck ship. What's the easiest way to get to wreck ship from here? That's gonna be getting to Norfair. Yeah, getting to Norfair. All right, Norfair it is. Let's go. And safety safe, because why not? Yeah, we get to see the ship one more time before the end. Yep. Y'all did miss out on one thing, though. Uh, a thing that I absolutely love. If we had gotten the buff Kirby skin, it would have been a Kirby ship. <laughs> Unfortunate. We'll have to do it next time. Yeah, buff Kirby inside of a Kirby ship. Kind of weird, but kind of cool. Modders Kirby. are the best. Kirby it's section. so great, isn't it? <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm doing just a bit of run back. Kind of at the, yeah. at the point now where there's just going to be a lot of run back. And uh, we'll go through Brinstar, it's gonna take us up to... Actually, no, this should take us back to Red Tower, which we can get to... Break ship off Red Tower, right? No, it's still faster to do this. It is unfortunately faster to do this. <laughs> well, while you traverse the terrain here... Just remind folks, there is a bid war active uh, for save, kill, or taunt the animals. All donations are headed towards NAMI, National Alliance on Mental Illness. So if you'd like to see how we're going to end this seed, uh, and time for that is coming up not too far away. Got a, got a little bit, but not too far away. And it's a close race between kill and taunt the animals, but if you want save to try and get back in the mix, we're, uh, we need about 30 bucks to do that. I mean, if you aren't gonna go with save, uh, just go with kill. I mean, just, just save the frames. We at least should save the frames. I mean, taunt is winning by... It's what makes by, us civilized. Taunt is winning by 80 cents. I mean, if, if it's already winning, we might just let it win. But I could, it would it would be nice to, to to see if maybe we might save the animals. It would be it would be nice. Uh, okay, so we want to go. Wreck ship is down this way. Where's wreck ship off of? Uh, that's off of the top part of lower North, of uh, upper Norfair. All right, normally lower Norfair exit. So, yeah, you can see me do that again for like the fifth time. I do know that after this very interesting and fun seed that Grey Gugro would very much appreciate ha saving the animals, because Grey will love saving the animals. I do, it's nice, it's fun, and it's it's makes me feel good inside. That would be the best way to finish this seed for Grey Gugro. And thankfully if you choose Taunt, I still won't have to do uh, Alcatraz Escape with the, with the timer, uh, because we have bombs, but yeah, it would be nice if we uh, if we get to save the animals. Just food for thought. And Cyril, you said what? We need like thirty dollars for save to get back in, in the lead. Yep. Mm. There's there's a little bit of time left. There's an opportunity here, chat. We could have a three-way near tie with only a dollar separating all three options. Easy sniping opportunities. Just saying. Just saying. And the only thing that's it's more important than figuring this out is knowing that all of that money is going to a wonderful, wonderful cause. 
Now, the cool thing about Fantoon being dead is Rex ship is now active, and there's a bunch of checks here that are available now. Um, how much do you want to bet that a lot of these checks are going to be uh, beams? I'm going to guess, I mean, we got, we only, we're only missing the wave beam at this point, so if we find the wave beam, we are completely good to go. But I expect we're also going to find some other nonsense here. I wouldn't be surprised if we find space jump here. I'd be 0% surprised to find that here. Not that we need it. I mean, space jump is superfluous in so many ways. Especially this late in the run. Yeah, it's just, it's just there to kind of, uh, I don't know, be in the way. Uh, maybe more supers if this feels like being uh, kind. Uh, normally, if you want, you want to have, if you're gonna do um, supers for Mother Brain, you would want to have. Oh, there's our high jump boots! Finally. Oh. Uh, I'm glad Heck we have yeah. those. Okay, look, I know high jump boots at this point are basically useless since we've done all of the things that would be required for them. Primarily, the only thing they make really any better is the. Uh... <laughs> is the entrance into Lower Norfair. But I can be a little hyped for them because I actually really like having them. It feels, it makes the movement feel a little bit better. I don't want to do as many wall jumps that I'm gonna fail at tonight. It's, it's good all around. Uh, we killed Fantoon so we can get one more check, actually two more checks down here. But we're gonna do that. Come on, wave beam. There's our wave beam, heck yeah. Let's go. And that is officially go mode, is it not? Yep, we're done here. I'm not bothering looking for anything else. Yep. We're good. Let's get out of here. Let's go kill some bosses and finish this run. There we go, y'all. What a long and arduous trip it has been, but you know what? We're all the better for it. And now the countdown starts. About how long do we have before we need to close that off? Uh, so, all right, we got one, well, two more bosses to kill, which should be very quick with our current loadout. Um, so, so that's probably about eh, 10 minutes-ish. And uh, then we've got uh, the entrance to Torian. So probably about 15. At most. You heard a chat. 15 minutes. Make the decision. Okay, so let's uh, figure out how we can find a crate from here. Where is our crate check? Uh, off of Red Tower. Got it. So we are on our way back to Red Tower from here, meaning we're going to have to go up to Criteria. We don't have to go up to Criteria, but the fastest, I think. Is there a faster way to get back up to Red Tower? I don't, I don't think there is. All right, so we're going back through Brinstar to Criteria so that we can go into Red Tower. I don't know why I opted for this route and not the other route, which is objectively faster. But you know what? It's fine. More time for us to get more donations in. Yep, a little bit more time to save the animals if you want to get those donations in. Oh, uh, super missiles and mother brain. Normally you want to have like 60. If you're going to do super missiles for mother brain, that's enough to, to get through all of her stuff. Um, typically that's what I'll do if I don't have a full set of beams, but because of the type of seed we run, we're basically guaranteed to have full, a full set of beams. There are seeds that will run where it doesn't actually force you to get them all, but those are rare. Um, I'm also used to doing things. Um, there's there's two options that I, I tend to play with. They are. Oh, I cannot believe that I just did that. Hey, let's go visit one of the animals, y'all. This this is one of the animals you could save right now. Yeah, that's Dracora. You want to save Dracora? But anyway, so um, I was saying um, there are some options there that I usually set that I did not set for this because marathon safety. Uh, they're called super fun uh, movement and super fun combat. They strip away a lot of the regular actual actually required items. So uh, if you play with the super fun combat, you are guaranteed to not get plasma and it removes, uh, I think, up to two of the beam weapons. Uh, also, it removes screw attack. Um, if you play the super fun movement, you're guaranteed to not get space jump. And then it removes some of the other uh, abilities as well. So, yeah, we're going to do this before we go and do Ridley, because why wouldn't we? We can go do this, we'll take care of Dragon, get through this, and then we'll pop back out the front door. 
and then go straight to grade. Yep, that was not what I wanted to do at all, but it's fine. So again, we're going to do this. Also, one of the things High Jump, st High Jump does that is uh, quite nice as well is a lot of these, like, uh, sort of tricky jumps um, that are, like, kind of a couple pixels to get around uh, are a lot easier with High Jump. Um, if you all saw earlier, I had a couple little struggles with that particular little, co uh, little corner. <clears throat> that could be completely bypassed by having High Jump. Also, getting out of here is easier with High Jump, too. All right, time to microwave the shrimp. I always think microwave dragon sounds like uh, sounds like a thing you'd find at like a uh, low quality sushi bar. Like they're not even pretending; it's just like, yeah, we threw it in the microwave for a while. <laughs> I can smell it now. <laughs> All right, flashing lights warning once again. Uh, not too severe, but you know, worth pointing out. And Samus stands up, which means we are done. Baked in timer. It's really nice. Yeah, we'll check it. We're here. We might as well look at it. Hey, more oh, supers. Look it's at that. Supers. <laughs> Gotta love it. Alright, so gonna do that. Quick little little speed boost jump. That's another reason why I like high jump. It also makes that easier. You don't have to do gravity to get out. Makes getting out of this section a little easier. So yeah, high jump is all convenience. The item over on the right over there is probably supers as well. You know what? <laughs> We're here. I'm gonna check it. Why not? It might be it might be space jump, but it's probably supers. If it's space jump, that'd be funny. It's supers. Oh, it's supers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it just hard stacked all of our supers uh, at the end. That's incredible. You know, like I, I've been, you know, taking a mental checklist as I've been going through trying to figure out well, where where might I have missed super missiles, and I'm thinking about it. I haven't seen any that would have been faster than the ones that we got at Golden Teresa. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure the vanilla super missiles at Golden Teresa was the only ones that were available. That's incredible. Okay, so we're gonna go the fast way back. Now, there's a space there's a shortcut it's supposed to take you to Plasma Beam. We're not gonna do that, because uh it's so it's slower than going the uh than going this way back. I'm gonna take this pathway down. Yeah, just so you know, uh, playing with the area randomizer does change things a little bit. Um, the sand pits that are below here typically lead out to the other part of no uh, Meridia. So it makes checking them a lot slower in the standard vanilla run, or standard vanilla map layout. Um, but because of this, because you have to like keep the areas closed off and you don't want to give people direct access to any one locations one way, they just sort of loop into each other. So all, all of lower, uh, all of uh, Eastern Meridia rather is contained, which is kind of fun. Yes, we did check Mama Turtle. Mama Turtle had just regular old missiles. Yep. Mama Turtle was uh, just holding on to missiles. Hey, look, she's got to protect her kids. Missiles are a great way to do that. I've heard that they are, yes. <laughs> All right, and we're going up to Crate, our last place that we got to go before we can uh, head back to Norfair and go to Torian. Uh, I will say, normally you would have a randomized escape sequence, but because of uh, marathon safety, we do not have that. Um, mostly because if we were going to do this incentive, uh, I didn't want to struggle to try and find the uh, find the animals. Which, uh, it's a whole thing. It randomly puts them in one of the map rooms, and you got to find it, and also it can it can add variance up to like seven minutes to a run. And if you fail, then you've got to like go and do stuff again. It's, it's not great. So again, for marathon safety, it's not randomized. Yeah, like Grace said, they're they're randomized in one of the map rooms. Any of the map rooms, and we're already dealing with this crazy spaghetti board of a map. 
we don't want to see that. So yeah. what we want to what we want to do in a, at a marathon setting is just turn that off, and we'll just put them where they're supposed to be. All right, so this is a bit of catharsis since I failed that uh, assault on Ridley earlier with, uh, with the limited weapons I had. Again, there are people that do uh, that do like Ridley first uh, runs for the speed run that way better at this fight than I will ever be. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do uh, twenty shots from this. Actually, we'll do twelve and twelve. Um, so this is a strategy I was talking about before. Um, we're gonna just dump supers in because we got so many supers. I could, but I don't want to waste all of them. Not that it really matters. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, twelve. There we go. So, should try and pick me up now. There we go. Yeah, RBO is, is genuinely one of those things that I am absolutely shocked people can do. Um, I've done... I've managed to do the uh, suitless lava dive once. Uh, and that was... yeah. That was more than enough. I never want to do it again. Did it for the achievement on uh, Retro Achievements, and that was about it. Yeah, if it wasn't for time constraints, uh, we definitely would do uh, would do the random animals. But it's just, yeah, definitely yeah. not a thing we can do because we, we gotta keep the uh, gotta keep stuff on track. So yeah, we are on our way now to Torian. Yeah, we're on our way to Torian. Okay, objectives okay. That pops up. So technically, there are four objectives to the seed, and that is uh, taking out the four, the uh, golden four. So. Making sure that we clear out uh, Kraid, Ridley, Dragon, and Pantoon. So when we do all four of those, it says objective is okay. That means that we can go and fight uh, Mother Brain. Also, normally with this, for my own runs, I tend to turn this, not turn off the Mother Brain fight, but I make it a lot faster by doing what they call fast Mother Brain, uh, where it just gives us uh, Phase one fight for her, and uh, sorry, phase two fight for her. Skips baby Metroid, does all the, the sorts of things. You, you do it once, you do, you've done it a thousand times. But with this, we get to also see uh, Zebatite skip, which is a fun thing to do. Absolutely fun. All right, so we're going back to back to Norfair because Torian is off of Norfair. So once again, with feeling, we're going through Brinstar. It's like the 15th time we've been through here. It's beautiful, I love it. I will say too, uh, one of the fun things of, having, of doing the area randomizer is sometimes you just see areas that you don't normally see. Uh, we did not see Forgotten Highway tonight, but it's one of those where you're way more likely to see it if you uh, do door randomizer and area randomizer. So. It's a good way to add some spice and flavor to the, the uh, flavor of the game bit. We did get a glimpse of that one crab room that nobody ever sees. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, crab room is... that's certainly a thing. Alright, so... Almost there. We've got one more area to traverse and then we're in Torian. Yeah, well, we, we are using the normal one for this, so you will see me uh, go after Baby Metroid. Unfortunately, I am terrible at jump roping Baby Metroid, and if I screw up, I'd have to basically reload the save to uh, lose the uh, the slowness, which is not a great thing. So we're just going to skip doing that. I'll just take the damage. What I will most likely do is uh, damage myself down so that, that Baby Metroid takes as little time as possible. It's a, a fair compromise, in my opinion, for that strategy. Again, those are speedrunner strats, and I am not a speedrunner. Eh, I'm not a speedrunner for this game, anyway. You are a speedrunner for really some like... very cool games, though. Like Dragon. Yeah, like Wizards and Warriors. Yeah, 3, Wizards that, and that Warriors. That everyone 3. knows. Yes. <laughs> All 
Yeah, if you're interested in playing a uh, game that is uh, bad and, I mean, it's it's tangentially associated to Rare because of Wizards and Warriors, Wizards and Warriors 3 is an okay run. It's very short and that's what makes it fun. And it has... okay, I haven't fought Metroids in this game in, in so long. It has quite the, uh, the explosive ending. Yep. One of my favorite glitches in any speed run. Oops. It's been just like it's so long since I've actually had to fight these things. So let's just skip over them. All right, we are heading toward Mother Brain. So the time that you have left to donate towards saving the animals or any of the other categories that we're going for here at the end of the run, it's very short. There's only like a couple minutes left. So if you want to get those donations in, get them in now. If you have a, if you have strong feelings one way or another, and you've got some money to, to toss towards the charity, highly recommend you do it now because we are gonna have to call that uh, once we finish the mother brain fight. Imminently, we did get yes. a dollar and ten cents from your neighbor to save the animals, so it, it it's pulling back into contention a little bit, but uh, taunt the animals is still currently in the lead, uh, thirty five dollars and eighty cents. Kill the animals at thirty-five dollars, and let me double check quick. Uh, save the animals at back at seven dollars and ten cents. So, snipers, take aim, shoot your shot. You gotta say, purple baby Metroid is is kind of scary looking. Yeah, but I mean, also it's baby Metroid. No matter what color baby Metroid is, it's adorable and friendship. The baby. It's the baby. Who would love the baby? Also, it, was, it was kind enough to leave us with, like, what, one hit point? And, what and is our it? reserve it, tanks. It, it's sort of like Kirby, but with teeth. Yeah, and uh, some type of uh, eerie uh, malevolence. Are you saying Kirby does not have an eerie malevolence? Oh, that's a very fair point. I probably should have thought about that. <laughs> Especially buff Kirby. Okay, so again, Seth Night Skip is not one that I do typically because of the fast Torian settings, but we will do that because that is the fastest way to do this. I have enough missiles that if I do decide I'm just done with it, I will uh, just do the missiles through. But we're going to give it more than a few attempts because it's fun to watch. And it's just a damage boost. It's not a huge deal. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna remind. You, I was gonna remind you to do that. You got it though. Oh yeah, you've seen me do it like three times where I've gone <laughs> into that and just not turned it off. All right, so we are going to. Oh, nope, reset that. Should have charged before I went in. That was a mistake. And jump and down and shoot, jump and didn't get the roll. That's okay. Get a second try. There we got go. It. So now that Zebatite, so fun fact, it only spawns one at a time. Uh, so by bypassing that first one, we don't have to do any of the others. We're also going to turn on screw attack uh, again, just for just for coverage sake. And we're going to break the glass on here. And because we're not using super to fight Mother Brain, we are just going to wail on her with these at the start. All right, this is going to go right. very quick. So again, this is your last chance to get those final donations in. All right, so all of the attacks, by the way, the community is named, all of Mother Brain's attacks have been named after uh, food sources. So as they happen, I will call them out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dodge the onion rings. Dodge the fries. French fry. Oh, we got a meatball. That's a spicy meatball. That's one spicy, spicy meatball. And uh, here comes the ketchup. There's the ketchup. Uh, the ketchup's looking a little purple. A little bit, yeah. It's pink sauce rather than that ketchup. All right, uh, that is the mother brain fight. Uh, pretty much done. Uh, normally, I would just, eh, we can still. Ah, didn't get enough. 
It's fine, so we're gonna get punched a little bit. Uh, but we got reserve tanks, so we aren't really in any mortal peril. We just gotta be damaged to underneath one full tank. There we go. Thank you for that meatball. Uh, with charge shots, I believe it's 20 all total. I think it's 20. I can't quite remember. It's something like that. I just shoot until the ketchup stops happening. Yeah, that's the long list of weird things I've said at marathon runs. <laughs> oh, and I see, uh, I see the totals going up. There, there's still some time to get donations in. Not very much, though. If you want to get your yeah, we in. have uh, maybe a minute. We're gonna have to call it as soon as Mother Brain is down. Yeah, and that last, will be uh, you'll, you'll know when she's down right now so yeah if you if you've got snipes that what you want to throw in do it as soon as you possibly can because we're we're gonna call it in less than a minute you know it's real nice of the it's baby to give you a hug there oh wait yeah. well, no not the baby Mother Brain I, messed with the wrong person. I love the baby. I'd like to point out we had so many missiles that uh, the beam that drains all of our uh, all of our miners just couldn't do it all. You back up, Mother Brain. What are you doing? It's this not is how you're very, supposed to behave. Very strange behavior. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not how that's supposed to work. The head got stuck up and she's moving forward. I don't. I have never seen that before. <laughs> That was that was interesting that's, and unique. That's never happened before. Yeah, that's that's a, definitely that's never happened before moment. Fantastic. All right, that's All right, it. So we that is the end of Mother it. Brain. We have to call the incentive right now. What do we got, Surly? I am refreshing. Just do your thing. We got a last minute last minute snipe save the animals has won save the animals heck yeah let's go Mate. save the animals fifty dollar donation from our Aurelia. thank you much Aurelia, thank you so much <laughs> i mean normally i do root for taunt the animals but after this run it's nice to see you save them Yep. I mean, the fact that, oh, wow. Uh, if I wouldn't mess this up, that would be, that would be just peachy. <laughs> yeah, after, after the, the super missiles being that far into the run, um, it's nice to have a win. Uh, this is also the first marathon run I've done of this where I've actually been able to save the animals. Oh, it's always taunt or kill, which is nice. It is like, I kind of like get a, a nice little variance there. It seems like every time around I talk people into taunting. So it is very nice not to, to talk everyone into taunting this time. Pop up that way. But thank you everybody for your donations yeah. toward the incentives. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, like I said, wonderful charity, wonderful cause. Y'all have absolutely crushed it. I'm so happy to see that we had we had four figures uh, during this uh, this first day. That's incredible. Y'all should be proud of yourselves. You really. There's the animal saved. Let's go. Animals are saved. Cannon is uh, now uh, complete. And now go to Metroid Fusion. Yep. All right. So we're just uh, going to hop on our ship and that'll be time, y'all. And that time is... Oh, if I didn't overshoot, which I did. Time is now. GG's. GG's. Oof. That was fun in a this is existentially terrifying kind of way that was a great run awesome job great good girl i i cannot believe that seed you're, you're good at picking them you really are okay <laughs> on time good entertainment loved it fantastic all right we can see the streak of the uh, the animals just shooting off in the distance as soon as this fades in yeah the animals shoot off to the right it's a little tiny speck. And there. There they go.
The operation was a complete success after we blew up a planet. Yep, so, I mean, that's all I really got. Um, I just want to say I'm Grey Goo Girl. I do streaming uh, three nights a week, typically randomizer content, sometimes uh, just, just whatever I want to play sometimes. Mostly it's randomizer content, though. Super Metroid, Link to the Past, uh, Chrono Trigger, Earthbound, those sorts of things. Uh, yeah, you can find me at uh, greygoogirl.run. That's the uh, URL I have for my channel, or at twitch.tv slash greygoogirl. Uh, yeah, if you're interested in seeing more of this kind of stuff, that's, uh, that's what I typically do. And I am Solmas218. You can find me everywhere at Solmas218, including on Twitch. Uh, the only randomizer that I do is uh, Link to the Past randomizer, but I do it fairly consistently, usually on the weekends. Uh, most of what I do is speedrunning, and uh, I stream during the week. So if you like speedrunning of various games, uh, I, I run a, a quite a lot of games now. So drop a follow if you're interested. Solmas's Obzi run is awesome. Yes, I ran Abzu recently at uh, Frost Fatales. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Heck yeah. Thank you both. This has been wonderful. Uh, I have not seen this style of rando for Super Metroid before, so absolutely entertaining. Loved it. Yeah, I'm just glad I, could, I got a chance to showcase this. Excellent. Well, that's it uh, for tonight, folks. Uh, Random Mania will be signing off shortly here. I just want to remind everybody we'll be back tomorrow uh, at 11 a.m. Central, uh, 10 a.m. Eastern. Find the time in your time zone at the uh, link I'll drop in the chat here in a second. Uh, more randomizers are going to be around tomorrow. More money going to be raised for NAMI, and it's going to be a grand old time. So check us out all weekend, take a look at the schedule, find things that look interesting to you, and uh, stop on back.